Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. If you've not been here before, welcome. It's lovely to have you. And if you have, thank you for returning. Um, it means so, so much to me. Um, this is going to be my Shop My Stash review for last week. I'm now doing weekly Shop My Stashes, which is so, so exciting. Just because it means I can get to the products that I've not been having much love. Um, just... I just wasn't getting to the products fast enough um, when I did the two week shot my stashes so yeah um, this is much better I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy that as well um, so yeah let's get into my shot my stash review right so here we are in my shot my stash item so the eyeshadow palettes um, there's a highlighter palette at the back there and then there's a face palette there and then in my everyday makeup drawer here I did actually want to show you things um, like I wanted to use this Gorilla tripod but it keeps falling over every time I put my camera in on should I say um, so let's just move that so let's talk about the base products first of all so we've got this Covergirl True Blend and I absolutely love that. I've been using that for the last few days. It's in the shade I2 Ivory. Um, really, really nice foundation. I bought it from TJ Hughes a while back um, and if they did have this, because it was only 2 99 if they did have it again in my local TJ Hughes, I wouldn't think twice about repurchasing it. So yeah, I really highly recommend this foundation. Um, another foundation that I highly recommend um, is this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup. It's in the shade 10 Fresh Ivory. Really, really pretty glowy foundation. I don't really like matte foundation anymore. Um, I've got a lot of matte foundation in my collection, but I might phase it out and just start using dewy foundation. You can always mattify it with powder anyway. Um, and then... The primer that I've been using is this Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer to go with that Essence foundation. I've also been using this very rarely as well, just for my pores around my T-zone area. And this is the Mali Perfect Prep Poreless Primer. So yeah, I've been using that. Right, so like I said, face palettes. This is one that I wanted to get quite a lot of use out of. This, this week that's just gone um, so yeah I've used, I haven't used all the blushes as you can see there's quite a lot I didn't use Havana or at Rockature, I used California and I used Gold Rush they're my two favourite of the Benefit blushes that I've got I used this bronzer quite a lot and it's really really nice, it does have fine, fine particles of glitter, I don't know if you can see that but you can't really see it once it's blended out on the skin. This blush is absolutely gorgeous and the highlighter is gorgeous as well. This is from the Tanya Bear, one of the Tanya Bear collections that I had. Um, not collections, palettes. And then I've got this little highlight that I used as well. So I'm going to leave it out. I'm going to leave it here. Um, but I don't think I'll be using it this next week. I think one of these palettes. I've got this palette and I've got a bleach London palette that I've created um, or custom made whichever way you want to look at it um, and it, either one of them will be out at one time and I think because I've not used the, those two blushes I think I'll keep it out and if I can come to it just like maybe for one or two days next week um, I will do. Right so then we've got this um, Deck of Scarlet and Kim Tai Dream Palette. I'm actually wearing this today. So, I wanted to do a look with this, um, but I've just not done. Um, if you do want to see a look, that's fine, but it is very, very simple. I chose an eyeshadow from the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani palette, which I'll talk about later, just as a like transition shade. A crease shade should I say um, and also like one like a, an ivory shade to blend my primer out um, so this one is really really nice it's got that great well that really nice foiled eyeshadow there 
Enchanted, it's a really nice rose gold and then Crown's pretty as well to deepen it out. I haven't used Miff today, um, I'm wearing the highlighter in Fairy Dust and the blush in Tiara. It was a toss up between do I wear Tiara or do I wear Rockature from the palette that I created but I wanted to give this a go just to see if it had a place in my collection still and it does for the moment. Um, so yeah, there's that one. That one can go back in the collection. Then we've got this Winky Lux. Guys, I'm so in love with this palette. I, part of me doesn't want to put it back. I used it for, I want to say, at least a good four days. Um, just really getting to know the palette, seeing if I liked it. Um, and I absolutely adore it. I would definitely use more Winky Lux products in the future. Let's see if we can open it. Right, so this is what it looks like. I mean, look at those. If you're a neutral girl like me, this is an ideal palette for you. It's a great travel palette. Um, my favourite shimmers in here are, I think it's called Dollars, um, which is this kind of like bronzy shade. I really like this rose gold shade as well, but it's not as pigmented. Um, and I love the match. The mats are really, really pretty. And these two here, I tended to use as like in a corner highlights but this one you could what's that one called trust fund this one is slightly darker um so you could actually is this even can you even see it um trust fund is slightly darker so you could use that all over the eyelid i do want to use this more in the future but for now i've just got so much eyeshadow palettes to go through i'm going to put it back in the collection for now Right, this is one that I thought I would have to declutter. I absolutely love it. It's such gorgeous packaging um, and it just is an amazing palette. Um, but I thought because of the age of it, it would need to go. But it doesn't. It's really, really nice. I, I used it quite a lot as well. Um, so the, the matte ivory shade I use is blonde. Um, then... This is the one that I use in the crease, it's just like a transition shade, stark. Um, so I used that today before I went in with the um, Deck of Scarlet and Kim Tai palette. And then normally like when I use this palette, so I'll go in with blonde, then stark, then either Anaheim or what's that one, Zone. Um, and then I use this quite a bit, 1987, I use this a lot, well a couple of days as well, Danger, I didn't really use that pink, um, either of those pinks should I say, and that's it, that's the only shadows I use, but I do want to keep it in the collection for a bit longer, that can go back for now, and then this one I used quite a bit i love it guys it's so so pretty the packaging does it for me really um so we've got that shipwreck that shipwreck shade is really really good for a like to put over your blushes like a blush topper that's the word i'm looking for um the highlight under the c and the bubbles i mixed um that highlight is quite nice as well for my skin tone. What's that one called? Finger my bob. Um, I think I didn't use that and I didn't use that that too dark. Um, but yeah, overall it's a really good palette and you can't really grumble for £3. But that one is going to go back in the collection. So now I've shown you everything like that was out. out. Um, I just want to show you what's in the drawers and what I've used and what I've not. Right, so then um, we've got these Kiko blushes and I for sure thought I was going to get rid of some of these. I really, really like this one. I've always liked this one because it's peach and I absolutely love peach blush. Let's see if we can get into it one-handed. So that's what that one looks like. Really, really pretty. So that's staying well they're all staying i thought i would be getting rid of like one of them i'll show you which one it is yeah it's this one no it wasn't um this one's the morph toned one um and i always knew that that would 
that one would probably stay that's in the shade two because that's perfect for autumn and winter so then we've got zero four and um, this is like oops this is like a baby pink but it looks so so good on my skin tone so I'm going to keep that as well um, then we've got this bronze and glow which I want to keep just for a little while longer but I'm going to take it out of this drawer and just see what else I want to use I mean I thought I would be decluttering it because it's quite a bronzy um, glowy bronze yeah glowy bronzer and I don't really have too many of them that's why I'm keeping it then I've got this Sephora um, Seychelles Cruise bronzer in number one light it's a really really pretty bronzer and as you can see it's kind of got like pink on it as well so yeah it makes it very very pink toned but it looks nice on the skin um highlighters really really enjoyed using this only used it about two maybe three days but really enjoyed it all the same um that one's in Starless show love this one as well um this one's goddess of love by iheart revolution even though it says iheart makeup they're the same company um and this one is in goddess of faith really really pretty i have shown this before so that looks like that right so i did want to use this i do have another day of makeup to wear before i do my shot my stash we're only on monday um so really i've got yeah i've got tomorrow to use this so i'll be using that tomorrow um i haven't used any of these but that's no surprise because i've pulled so much makeup for the week didn't get around to using the eyeshadows from this so I'm going to leave it in another week and hopefully I will get there. I think I'm going to um, pull smaller palettes this week. Um, I didn't get around to using this. Um, Becca Chloe, what's, what, which one's this? Becca's BFF's Bronze Blush and Glow Palette and it's the Made With, Made With Love by Malika so I'm going to leave that in for another week just to get more use out of it and it's a fairly new product so I want to test it out nearly finished this there is literally nothing in it so I think about enough for one more use so yes we'll um, I'll put that back in the bathroom I've been using this a lot like daily and um, this is the only moisturizer I have um, so this is the Nivea daily essentials 24 hour moisture boost this one's still in I didn't use it I didn't um, do a tissue mask this week so maybe next week for that right so this primer has to has to be decluttered it's out of date it's gone bad which is a shame because I think I've only ever used it once or maybe not at all um, so yeah that one has to go in empties I didn't use these I actually forgot I'd put these in um, and this one is the Lottie eye foil in Savage and also I put this one in didn't I didn't use that one either that one is in the shade combat from Primark and then we've just got a few more glitters that tend to stay in here pretty much all the time and I didn't use this either this is the opal highlight by Becca um, then at the back of that the powders so I use this daily this one will stay matte so that can go back in the collection and we'll pull something else I didn't use this sorry I did use this Laura Mercier powder guys I still don't know what I think about it it's the brightening secret powder in the, in the shade number one what do you guys think of this? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, because I don't know. I mean, I just don't know how I feel about it. And I've had it ages as well. Um, mascaras, I'm still only using this Urban Decay Perversion. So that can go back in my makeup bag. Um, I did use this once today. I think I'm just going to declutter this. I, I hate the look of it every time I look at it. And it's 
putting me off using it just because it's so disgustingly dirty it's not a bad product though if I'm being completely honest but it's just the dirt from the obviously eyebrow products that I've been using so I might declutter it something else that I'm thinking about decluttering is this MUA Luke's Bright and Lighten eye primer not a big fan of it I'm I don't like decluttering things either for the sake of it. I think I'm going to keep it in and try and use it a little bit longer. I've also been using this. I pulled this out off camera. This NYX um, 604 Milk. Do you remember when this was so, so talked about on YouTube and everyone used it? Um, I wanted to use it to brighten up some eyeshadows and just to give my eyes a bit more of a vibrant look. It's worked really, really well. Um, so that's that um, another thing I've been using for quite a few days is this brown eyeliner on my lash line it's the extreme lasting 16 hour liner in but, f but first espresso and the waterproof which is great because my eyes run really badly and then the last thing to talk about is this collection 16 hour lasting perfection and that's everything so yeah that's that's everything really um all my thoughts on the products that i've used which i all them um which looks quite a lot for a week but yeah i did get quite a lot of use out of it i'm looking forward to rotating my makeup out for this week um so if you've not already subscribed to this channel i would love it if you would and i'll see you in my next one bye